Hi everyone, this is Leonie from my passion for paper. Today I would like to show you how I created my large rosebuds. They look like this. And I created this one out of book paper, but you can also use any kind of cardstock. Um, the book paper I used is feels a bit like parchment paper. It's stronger than the regular book paper. Um, I'm also going to be using this EK Success Flower Punch, but you can also use your Spellbinders die, the Rose Creation ones. Uh, I really like to distress my flowers, so I used some distress ink here. And we're going to use a pair of scissors, a paper piercing tool, a paintbrush to form the petals, and my hot glue gun. Um, what I do is I punch out three of the book paper flowers and one black flower and we're going to create the leaves. With this one you can also use green if you prefer that. This is a green uh, stem that I saved but I really like to color them black. Okay so for time's sake I already punched out three of the book paper flowers and I already distressed them front and back side along the edges and I will set this one aside we're going to line them up and we're going to pierce a hole in the center of the flower and then I'm going to carefully make them a bit more distressed the book paper rips very easily so you have to be a bit careful here like so and what I'm going to do now I'm going to uh, bend the petals backwards along the edges like so oops and the back side will look like this so I'm going to do that to all the petals of all three flowers and you have something that looks like this on the back side And what I like to do next is I take my paintbrush and I take my flowers and I'm going to bend them around the paintbrush like so. And then I'm going to press carefully in the center of the flower and the petals will come up a bit like so so I'm going, going to do that to all my flowers like so. Now I'm going to take my pearl bead and my stem and I'm going to oops, do it like so and I bend this one a bit and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here like so and then I'm going to press this one down it doesn't have to be uh, very nice because we're not going to see this 
so <clears throat> I'm sorry you have something that looks like this and I'm going to take my first flower like this and I'm going to create the rosebud so I'll skip one leaf here and I take these two leaf, uh, petals, I'm sorry <laughs> and I'm going to fold them together like this and you have something that looks like this and we're going to place some glue here not too much and we're going to fold it upwards and hold it in place for a few seconds and the next one and the last petal you don't need to use much glue you don't want it seeping out of the flower and that's the first flower we're going to take the second one and we're going to alternate the petals here's a little point here and it has to be in the middle of the petal like so I hope you see what I mean here we're going to put some glue here not too much and we're going to fold this petal upwards like so we're going to do that to all five petals like so so we're starting to have a rosebud like this now I'm going to take the third flower and let me see where the hole is <laughs> and we're going to alternate this one as well oops I'm sorry like this and make sure you hold it up against the other the rosebud that you already created so far and we're going to take a little bit of glue here and we're going to fold this petal upwards again, I'm sorry <laughs> like so and then the next one, just a little bit of glue here like so let me remove some glue strings and we're going to press it against the pearl bead like this and there we have our rosebud and now we are going to take the last flower, the black or the green one and we're going to take our pair of scissors and we're going to shape these petals into leaves so what I like to do is to go like this with my scissors let me remove some stuff here maybe my camera will focus better now so 
And I like to move my scissors like this. We have something that looks like this. And I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. And then we have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to take my paper piercing tool again. And I'm going to punch a hole in the center. And I'm going to press like this and then I'll take my rosebud and I'm going to oops let me remove this again like so like this and then we're going to put some glue here and we're going to adhere the leaves Oops. and now you really want to be careful not using too much glue, you can also use your another liquid adhesive and we're going to adhere them like this So here it is, the finished rosebud, and I really like to create my own rosebuds. And I can make them in any color or style that I like. And you can also use some gesso to go over it or some stickles. So this is the rosebud, and I hope this explanation was a bit helpful and if you have any questions please let me know i hope you all have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you next time bye bye